It's like uh, Gilligan's Island, but everywhere. Bushes and trees all over, like 100 degrees and really humid. <laughs> you know, in Gilligan's Island, they'd always make some sort of funny contraption to get around. Well, you would see these wagons with horses and they have car tires on them. Or sometimes they have wagon wheels. And then you turn the corner and then you see a 1953 Chevy on the road. Uh, my name is Andrew Axemaker. Uh, I'm a senior this year at Corbin and I'm studying business marketing. Uh, I've been playing baseball since I was like three years old. Darren Milionis, Director of Student Support. This picture city we got, went to has been restricted from both the Cubans and outside um, well, just outsiders in general. It's called um, Caimaneta, and it's across the bay from Guantanamo, the U.S. Navy base. Uh, I was excited. At first, I was pretty nervous because, you know, it's illegal to spread the gospel there, and that's kind of what we were going for. Baseball is such an important um, extracurricular activity down there that the door for us as Christians opened because of the word baseball. That's it. Uh, we'd, we'd go out and we'd basically walk to our positions because of how hot it was and we'd be sweating just all the way there at each step. And so, uh, you know, in between each inning when we're in hitting and we'd go and just drink a ton of water just so we could stay hydrated. It's different than in America because here in America you don't go and hug an umpire during each inning and stuff. In, in Cuba, you know, after they get a double or something, you know, you'll go give them a hug or a handshake or something saying good job, you know, you, you had a great hit you had. Um, and you don't do that in America here. So I think it was really cool just being able to just show how uh, love can affect even though the language isn't there. Of course, the government doesn't want us to say anything about Christian faith um, directly, but on the ball field, they really liked our players. They, they exchange uniforms when the game is over. Uh, we give them Bibles. Um, there's high fives and handshakes and there's small conversations that took place between the opposing player and us. At this point in time, we are told that that's what we can do. Um, we're pushing the envelope if we do much more than that. Probably one of my favorite moments was giving the bracelets out to the kids. On We did that on Wednesday, and it uh, was at night, and there was probably, there had to have been three or four hundred just, just children under ten years old at this, at this church, and we were able to give out these bracelets that had different colors of beads, and each color of bead represented a verse in the Bible, and it said it on the pack that we gave them. And just seeing how all the children's faces lit up when we handed them out, was, it was incredible. And, that, that kind of touched me pretty good. I think, you know, these guys grow up playing ball. And um, I, don't, I don't think, and not that a mission trip isn't important to them, it's just not on their radar. Um, you know, they're playing on weekends and they grew up that way. And so for every one of them, uh, going to Cuba was their first mission trip, their very first mission trip. I don't know of any others that went anywhere else. And for them to experience something so unique and and their sport being the way to get into this country, I think was powerful. I mean, if I could say one thing, one last thing to the community, I would say, just trust, trust in God, because no matter what happens, he's gonna come through, you know? We weren't supposed to be there, you know? People there, people in Cuba can't even get into the city that we were in, unless they have family there. And so the fact that we were able to go there and do what we did, it was incredible, and it's a miracle, you know? So keep trusting in God, because he's gonna provide for you somehow. This trip, um, like all the trips, I, I believe it expresses what we're doing as an institution, making a difference in the world for Jesus Christ. And guys that typically wouldn't be uh, impacted in that way in a normal setting, because, because baseball, they're not gonna go on a mission trip normally, uh, but this baseball is a ticket to be able to do two things, play a sport they love and share the love of Jesus.